Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and a very good morning. Sure. So um, for today we will continue chapter number two. Uh, I already give you some tasks uh, to do on Mondays. Uh, just uh, review some uh, videos that have been posted in e-learnings and also uh, some exercise. And for today we will discuss a little bit about the exercise that I will provide to you. And before that, we just doing some wrap up for the chapter two before we continue to the exercise. Okay. If we finish uh, exercise, the questions that I've given to you, uh, we will, I will provide a new sets of questions and we will discuss on Monday. Perhaps. Okay. So uh, chapter two is all regarding SC and Bs. Uh, I believe anybody who uh, from matriculation, STPM, and also polytechnics, I guess a few students. Mm -hmm apply for polytechnics from polytechnics i mean studied about the acid and base okay so let's go for this kind of chapters okay for in these chapters we will continue a few things is uh and yeah, uh, the thing that uh, i've been highlighting in in red is quite important okay the first one is uh, regarding the broasted lowry acid and base and also the erosions and the second one, uh, acid strain and also PKA. And number four, predict the outcome of acid and base reactions. Acid will give conjugate base, base will give conjugate acid. And the number, the fifth one is a factor that determine acid strain. They have four factors, which is include to determine the acid, acid strain, uh, strain. So uh, number six is a common acid and base, uh, what we use every day. And lastly, we take an example for aspirins or painkillers. And lastly, uh, what is a Lewis acid and base? What is the difference between uh, Lewis acid and base compared to the bronsted lowry acid and base? Okay. Okay, let's go into the definitions about bronsted lowry acid and base okay uh, hydrogens atoms with an electron we call a proton which is h plus and a bronze that lower acid is a proton donor it's a very rich with proton and the compound or the molecules have contain uh, protons that we can call uh, bronze that lower acid and willing to donate uh, the keyword is willing to donate okay and for the basis, uh, base uh, is a proton acceptor, usually referred as a pi bonds and also a pair of electrons. They are willing to accept the protons. So this is kind of examples between bronsted lowry acid and bronsted lowry base. Again, okay. all bronsted lowry acid contain protons, has L, sulfur acid, even in uh, anion and cation forms, even in neutral one. Okay, this one is a <clears throat> hydrocenium ion H3O plus, okay, it means they have extra one electrons, uh, one protons, and, and willing to donate, okay. Uh, another example is neutral compound is acetic acid. And we know it's acetic acid is a quite acidic, or we call um, chuker in, uh, in the kitchen, so we call acetic acid. The difference between acetic acid and chuker in our kitchens uh, is kind of, um, the, this, uh, the concentrations of the particular acids. For the bronsted lowry base, okay, it's contain a lone pair. We have here a lone pair here, okay, and also uh, electron bond and pi bonds. Okay, this both uh, is kind of catria for the bronsted lowry base. And this compound have net charge for zero or negative only because they need a pair of electron to accept a Proton. Okay. Reaction of bronsted lowry acid and base. Okay. Uh, transfer of proton from acid to base. Okay. And it's a transfer. Uh, the keyword is transfer. What they are transfer? Proton. What is proton? H plus. Okay. From acid to 
uh, two bits. Okay. Yes, so. Wait, huh? let me finish. Um, the electron pair of base, okay, from a newborn, a uh, form, form a newborn, okay, to a protons of the acid forming a conjugate base. And acid will lose the protons, okay, leaving electron pair HA and it's become conjugate base. Okay. As a uh, to make it easy for you, this is kind of figure to explain what is uh, what's happened for during the reactions between lauric acid, <coughs> prostate lauric acid base. Okay, first what you have to do is you have to label which one is acid and which one is base uh, based on the definitions. It's quite direct. So this is the base because they have a pair of electrons here, and water is a neutron element, but they have uh, ability to be sometimes acid and sometimes base and in this case they are prefer to be uh, acids because they are willing to donate uh, protons so you have to first you have to label which one is acid and which one is base and you have to start an arrow from base from here to here okay and after that labels the product uh, draw the products okay and label what is that? Okay, acid is become conjugate base. Acid is become conjugate base. Base become conjugate acid. Okay. So uh, KA and PKA, I think it's quite direct. Okay. Normally we don't much ask about the KA and PKA, and we don't provide uh, the table for them. Okay, we are not prefer to to ask this kind of questions. Okay, I think you you. <coughs> already know how to convert PKA is a lot negative law of K. Okay, outcome acid base reactions. Okay, the position of equilibrium depends on relative strengths of acid and base. Equilibrium always favor formation of weaker acid and base. Okay, favor. Okay, what is favor? Okay, for examples. Uh, this is a uh, we have to refer the, the table to do that. Okay. And so, but I think um, in your levels, we don't ask too much about the, this kind of permissions. Okay, because the PKA of this one is 25. Okay, meanwhile, for the weak acid is 38. The equilibrium favor from pro, uh, starting materials to the, to the products. Okay. Step in solving acid-base equilibrium uh, reactions. So, so, as I said, you have to identify which one is acid and which one is base. And after that, um, you have to draw the products of the protons transfer and identify the conjugate acid and base. Okay, and make sure you draw correctly. Uh, if they have a charge, you have to put its charge. Okay, if not, just leave it. Okay, because it will represent your answers. Okay, if you're missing the charge and the answer should have a charge, you will get the, the wrong answers. Okay, and compare the PKA values of acid and conjugate acids. Uh, they have, this one have to refer the, the tables, but uh, that's why I, we tell we told you that we don't like to prefer to ask these kind of questions because um, it's, first it's quite direct. Okay. And we don't like to, to do like that. Okay. So factor that determine acid string strength. So anything that stabilizes the conjugate base A make the starting material acid uh, is more acidic. So there are four factors affect the acidity of uh, acids. Okay, there are element effects. Second one is inductive effects, the resonance effects, lastly, yeah, hybridization effect. Okay, you have to remember this this one and try to solve in playing the puzzles when the question is coming. Okay, so we will discuss in detail about this one. Okay, so next, okay, what is the element effects? Uh, the, uh, is the, uh, depend on the trend in the variables. Okay, and and uh, for example, water. Wait, wait. Okay, uh, for example, water. Um, the loss of uh, protons, okay, and it's become from uh, <clears throat> when it's become uh, from acids, 
is become conjugate base and negative charge of oxygen is more more stable okay and meanwhile for ch3 okay if we take away the, the proton here the conjugate base is negative charge and the c is a less positive okay it makes sense and um, Oxygen is much electronegative in ferric tables. It's a uh, group number six, six uh, A, uh, compared than carbons, and it's more readily accepted negative charge. Okay, uh, you remember that carbons, nitrogens, oxygens, halogen groups, more electronegative. Okay. <clears throat> No, I already explained this one. Okay. Uh, uh, arrow for the pre in predictable, the acidity of uh, acid is increased as electronegativity of A is increases. We already explained in the previous slide and <clears throat> it's quite the right. Okay. And a positive or negative charge is stabilized when it's spread uh, over. A large volumes. It means because fluorine <coughs> cohesion group, okay, and lastly goes to the iodines. <coughs> and for example, fluorine is a smaller anions. It's less stable, and uh, it was a conjugate base compared to the uh, bromines is a larger anions okay because the electrovalency size okay for fluorine they have fluorines okay they have uh, one two three four five six seven oh, okay so we know okay that's why it's uh, seven eight okay because it's fluorine negative and bromine they are increasing the the valence of electrons about this one okay i already explained about this one okay next uh the b1 is inductive effects uh, what is inductive effect is a pool of electron densities pool of electron density through sigma bonds cause of electronegativity difference of atoms so more electronegative atom stabilized regions of high electron density by electro withdrawing inductive effects so the more electronegative the atoms the closer is it to be a negative side a negative charge and it, it become a greater effects okay this is uh, the example to, to 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 make you understand how to implement the inductive effects we have two types of compounds, okay, two, two trifluoroethanols. We change CH3 in this position with fluorines, okay. It's more acidic compared to the ethanols. Why the reason of increasing acidity of this kind of compounds? Because they have three electronegative fluorine atoms stabilized the negative charge of conjugate base. So for examples, if we remove the protons from ethanol and also uh, trifluoro <coughs> trifluoroethanols and we can see that this electron charge has been stabilized by these three pellets fluorines okay and this one is become electro negative the electron cloud is pulled in these directions and meanwhile this one doesn't doesn't have the negative charge then stabilized by by conjugate base Okay, we can see the, the electron cloud is different here in these positions. Okay. The resonance effects, okay. What is the resonance? Okay, it's a delocalization of charge through in resonance influence acidities. Okay. For examples, ethanol again and uh, acetic acids. Okay, the number of carbon is quite similar. So they have two carbons here. And but if we remove the proton in these positions, okay, donate the proton in these positions, it's become they can make a two or resonance structures, okay, because by moving the electrons, it means if we 
try to grow is become with these structures, the localizations of electron between these two. Ah, okay, sorry, I'm, I don't know what's happening to my pen. Okay. Okay, the congenic base of acetic acid is delocalized. Okay, first you have to understand the chapter one. Okay, and after that, you have to relate with this phenomena. Okay, next, lastly, hybridization, chapter one again. Okay, consider the relative facilities of three components contain CH bonds. Okay, it is okay, means CH, and this one is. Sp3, Sp2, and Sp. Okay, from Sp3 to Sp will increase the acidity. Okay, it's related also regarding the S characters. How to calculate the S characters? Because they have 25, 35, 100 divided 100 divided by 4 is become 25%. 100 divided by 3 is become 33.333 cents. <clears throat> and lastly, 100 dividing by 50s is become 50 cents. Okay, if related with hybridization, okay, it's related with whether the compound is sp2, sp3, or sp compounds. It also, you have to include also the S characters, okay, 25, 53, or 50 S characters. Okay, summary factor that determine of acid strengths, they have four factors, the elements, inductive effects, resonance effect, hybridization effects. And for example, aspirin that we use, um, that we use uh, as a painkillers, okay. So, uh, Aspirin in, in neutral form is become like this. Um, okay, when the base react is become the ionic forms and it's easy to uh, absorb by water in our intestines, okay? And uh, goes to our bloodstreams and circulate around our bodies, okay? This is the function of acid base in our body because the mouth, in base, our stomach is acid, and they are playing around their rules to deliver us if we take the drugs. Okay, that, that's why some uh, drugs we have to take after the meals and before the meals. Okay, okay, it's an explanation. So, okay, uh, Louis acid and base uh, is quite different, slightly different. Uh, regarding Lewis acid and base, okay, Lewis base is electron pair donors. Uh, Lewis base is electron pair donors, and is similar like Bronsted Lowry base. Both uh, have an available electron pair, lone pair, and pi bond. Okay. And bronsted Lowry base always donate this electron a pair of proton, but Lewis base donate an electron to anything. <clears throat> this kind of base, okay, Lewis base donate this electron pair to anything that electron deficiency. Okay, electron yang kurang. Okay. So this is an example of a uh, basis, uh, peroxy ions, and CH3 uh, methanol, and also alkenes. Okay, this is charge, pair of electron, this one is pi bond. Pair, so on, charge. Okay, what is Lewis acid? Okay, Lewis acid is, uh, uh, and electron pair acceptors. Okay, they accept an uh, electron pair. Okay. And uh, the species, uh, there is electron deficiency. Okay. And capable to accepting. Okay. Accepting electron pair. 
that what we call Lewis acid. So Bronsted Lowry acids are also Lewis acid, but Lewis acid is not sometimes it's not Bronsted Lowry acid. You have to remember this one. Don't miss up, okay? And uh, <clears throat> common Lewis acid, common Lewis acid, this one, which are uh, not bronze that low with acids, is called element 3A. They can be acid and electron pair because they don't have field valence shells. Okay, for example, Lewis acid that also bronze acid is a water and also methanol. Mm -hmm. Okay, bronze that acid and uh, not bronze that low with acid is a BF3 okay. and aluminum 3A elements. Acid based reactions similar like um, similar like uh, bronze that low with acid based reactions. So, uh, <clears throat> in the Lewis acid based reaction, Lewis base have to donate an, uh, an electron pair to Lewis acid. In this case, this is base. This one is acid. And this is illustrated by this kind of operations. Okay. Acid base, base will attack acids or donate a pair of electrons and form a, a new bond here. Don't forget to calculate the formal charge. And row this is negative, and this one is positive. Okay, if you uh, draw correctly, we will give you full marks. Electrophile and nucleophile acid base reaction illustrate a general pattern in organic chemistry. Electron rich species with electron poor species. Okay, and Lewis acid we call is a electrophile. And when a Lewis base reacts with electrophile, another call is nucleophile. Okay, nucleophile attack electrophile. Okay, nucleophile. We will use this term in chapter 7 to 7 to 11. Okay, make sure you don't. Um, forget about this early chapters okay because chapter one until chapter six is a theory and chapter seven until chapter eleven is a applications okay um, this is another example uh, Louis, Louis acid base okay so make sure in the end you have to calculate the formal charge is if they have okay for examples uh, this this um, CH3 it C is positive, it's a nucleophile, and bromine have an extra extra charge we call it electrophile and nucleophiles. Nucleophile will add the electrophile to give the products. Okay. And same goes to the aluminiums, it's element 3A, so they can have uh, empty orbitals, they can make an extra bonds. Okay, that's all. Okay. So we will go to the our discussions for the next question. So I will stop the sharing first. Okay, we will go to the, the real business about the discussion of our questions. So, I already give you a few set of questions about this one, so we will do it uh, together. Okay, it's better to, uh, to make sure you understand so, uh, regarding these chapters. So, question number one, draw the product of each proton transfer reactions, label the acid and base in the starting materials, and the conjugate acid and base in products. So, they have a few, this is quite direct, uh, this is quite direct uh, questions, but it's good for you as a training set. Okay, so you could draw the products. They ask you to draw the products. Okay, wait, wait. Yeah. Oh, 
Okay, draw the products. They ask you to draw products of each proton transformations. Okay, label the acid and base. Label, you have to labels. First, you have to labels. Second, you have to draw. In starting materials, and conjugate acid and base in products. Okay, so in this case, you have to labels. <coughs> You have two labels, which one is AC and which one is space. You have to go back to the definitions. Okay, first the definition is <clears throat> this one is AC. Okay, because the uh, yeah, this one is AC and this one is base. Okay, you have to go back to the definitions. Okay, because hydrogen bromine is like this. In terms of uh, density of electron, this one is delta positive and delta negative. Okay, so they are preferred to donate and protons. So from this one, okay, this one is space. Don't forget. So the product will be, again, draw again the products, okay. So H is become H2, calculate the formula charge, it's become positive. And again, copy the correct structures, okay, plus, okay, PR, negative. And this one you have to label again. Okay, base become conjugate acid. Uh, so should the acid become conjugate base. Okay, for the second questions, okay, uh, we have so to determine. Uh, let me finish this one question first. Okay, for this uh, second questions, okay. Draw the electron pair. <coughs> okay, you already know this is a sulfuric acid. Of course, this one is AC. <coughs> and this one is base. Okay. And again, okay, if you want to draw, you can draw like this. H O S O 3 H. Okay. Base will take a proton from acid, okay. And again, draw a conjugate acid in base. So in this case, it's become like this. Draw, uh, find the formal charge, okay. Plus, is yes, O4 negative. Okay, this one is conjugate AC. This one is conjugate base. Okay, questions. Siapa nak tanya tadi? Ada dengan suara tadi? Saya, saya, Altaf. Altaf, yes, Altaf. So, at the O, sir, the 1A, should we draw the lone pair? It's up to you. Okay, oh. I just got you how to make sure you don't do something wrong. Oh, okay. Sir. Okay, it's up okay. to you. If you want to draw, do it. I just guide everybody's with the simplest way. This is my concept when I try to teach everybody. Okay, because everybody have different uh, level of thinkings. It's better for me to, 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 to teach everybody with the simplest and basic understanding about these chapters. Okay, so thank it's you. up to you whether you want to draw the products. But in organic chemistry, if you think uh, carefully, is 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 involved the arrow movements or electron movement or bone movement. So you have to show the way. So it's kind of like if you try to solve the mathematics problems, you have to do some calculation and show show that. Okay. It's better, Alta, to do that. 
Okay. Okay, sir. Thank you, sir. Okay. Take your time. Take your time when you, when you try to answer the questions. Don't rush because when you rush, you will miss the simplest example. For example, the charge. If you find no charge in your answers, it's totally wrong. Okay, we have for for us as examiner, we have two answer, two choice, correct or wrong. If wrong, no marks. If yes, yes, you get a marks. Okay. Okay, sir. Thank you, sir. Okay. So this one at the no law. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, ethanolol is a beta blocker, a drug that used to treat high blood pressures. Okay, uh, anybody who have parents uh, who have a high blood pressures, this is one of the drugs that your parents have to take. Okay, which is indicate NH bond. Uh, okay, the, the task is you have to determine which one is NH bonds, which are more acidic, and explain your your answers. Okay, how to do it? Okay, first, okay, first uh, we have to determine how many uh, NH bond that uh, exist in this uh, structure. So you, we have two. This is number one, and this one is number two. Okay, so what you have to do? So, so first, if we react with base in positions number one and number two okay base okay we have base here have a pair of electrons based on the definitions we try to take the proton here and they have uh, a pair of electron here give you back to nitrogens so it's become it's become you have to draw back again the structures okay So uh, you have to calculate the formal charge, okay? So it's become negative, okay? So this is the first uh, <clears throat> conjugate form, so, okay? And the second one, okay, if we stretch the number two ones, okay, we have base here. And we extract one proton here, and another bond is giving back two to this nitrogen so it's become like this okay and H So this one is become negative charge. You have to calculate the formal charge again. But because you have to refer again, okay, because uh, how to determine this, uh, which one is more acidic, you have to refer for effects, inductive effects, element effects, resonant effect, and hybridization effects. So in this case, it's related with the resonance effects. So it can make a second resonance structures. Okay. Carbon have to make follow the optic rules, so you have to draw the second structures. And this for my charge, don't forget. Okay. This is the explanations 
about why nitrogen's nitrogen at position one is more acidic compared nitrogen at position two. First, we should explain about the resonance. And you have to show. And third one is conclude. Okay, first you have to explain they have two uh, NH bond in these uh, molecules, which is secondary amines and also amides. And explain uh, amide is more acidic compared to the secondary amines because blah, 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 blah. And show, show about the resonance structures. Okay, this one question is, I just give five months, for example, like this. Okay, make sure okay. you have all the, the data that I've been shown here. Okay? Okay, okay nice. there. There. Uh, for this. Uh, yes, uh, sure. yes, yes. For this, uh, this inductive effect may like changes because at NH2, there is like, uh, ketone there, aldehyde there, aldehyde is electron withdrawing group, right? So is there any withdrawing uh, uh, Doesn't effect? have much effect, doesn't have much effect. Uh. The, the, the closest one is the resonance effect. We can see the resonance distributions there in this uh, number one here. Yeah. Oh, so we just mentioned the the most effect. Lah. Yes. Yes. Side effect, you know? yes, yes, yes. Thank it's you. better to, 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 to explain like that. Okay. All right, thank you, Doctor. Okay, what's that? Uh, doctor? Yeah, who is that? Ah, uh, Lucas here. Yes, Lucas. Why can you I also draw uh, both the resonance structure and then I include the resonance hybrid. Uh, it's not necessary because the explanation is regarding the resonance structures only. Ah, uh, okay. If you want to do it, it's okay, but no marks for that. Okay, and then I, for the structure, I said it is resonance stabilized, it's correct, right? Yes, can is the correct answer because the, the, the keyword is resonance uh, and resonance stabilized. Okay, thank you, Doctor. Okay, the localizations of electron cloud also can also. It's a kind of another definition of resonance. Okay. It's time now. It's uh, 98, still have time. Okay, don't worry. Okay, the second question is uh, label the most acidic proton in these drugs and explain your choice. Okay, we have two types of drugs here is a perozantine and also metoprolol. Oh, metoprolol, this is actually, I haven't eaten this one before. It's for high blood pressure. Okay, so, okay, we have two, two kind of compounds, very beautiful compounds. Um, so uh which one is more acidic so we have here um we have to going back to definition of acids okay acid what is definition of acid the compound that have h plus two in it when react with this okay just put to make sure you remember base or SB. So in this case, we have only CH. Uh, we have only CH here, CH bond, and also NH bond. And in predictables arrangements, okay, we can see it's a carbon, nitrogen, oxygen, and halogens. So uh, therefore, NH bond is more, more as electronegative, more acidic. Okay. This is all about the element. Okay, element types. Sorry, my handwriting. Okay, so for metoprolol, okay, in this case we have uh we have CH of course, okay. And we have uh, we have NH, okay, nice. And we have another additional teams, we have OH. 
Okay. In periodic tables, we have carbons, nitrogens, oxygens, and halogens groups. Okay. So oxygen is more electron negative. So therefore, OH is more acid. Okay. Voila. Okay. It's quite direct, eh? If we talk about the element effect. Okay, next. Oh. Okay. This is about the last subject test. It's a Lewis, oh, sorry. Lewis acid, uh, Lewis acid based reactions. Uh, sorry, my mistake, typo. Okay, label the electrophile and nucleophiles. So you have to understand the definitions of electrophile and also nucleophile. So we go one by one. So, okay. Lewis acids, we call as a electrophile. Lewis base is nucleophile. All Lewis base, uh, Bronsted Lowry uh, base, okay, Bronsted Lowry base is a nucleophile. Meanwhile, Lewis, uh, Lewis acid is a Bronsted Lowry acid, but not Bronsted Lowry acid is a Lewis acid. You have to understand about this kind of definitions. So what you have to understand is about this one. So um, uh, this is three A elements. It could be an electrophile. And this one have a pair of electrons. So pair of electrons, this one is a nucleophile. Okay. So electrophile with a pair. A nucleophile will attack an electrophile. So, okay, so the structure is structures is become like this. S. So, you make a new bond here. E L. Uh, Cl, oh, CH, Cl3, sorry, Cl3. So you have to calculate the formal charge, chapter one, don't forget. So this one is become positive charge and this one is a negative charge. Okay, for the B, B, going back again to the definitions, okay. The how why this is electrophile because uh, borons have one orbital which is empty orbitals. That's why a pair of electron can occupy the empty orbitals. So this one is nucleophile. This one is electrophile. So nucleophile fill the empty orbital of borons. Okay. So again, it become. <clears throat> this one become negative. This one become positive. Okay. And lastly, which one is electrophile and which one is profile? This one sometimes is a neutral compounds, but based on the definition, this one is a nucleophile because they have extra protons, yeah, electrons. So this one is the electrophile, the ability of that compound to accept pair of electrons. Okay. So this become like this. Oh, oh. page two, last. Okay, and don't forget to calculate the formal charge. Why it doesn't have any charge? Because the empty orbital have been filled. Yeah, 
the empty orbital folder, this kind of cabinets. Okay, we still have time. We'll see the next question. Okay, I think that's all for today. We will, because they have a few set of questions uh, about this one. We have one to six. Uh, we will do it uh, on Mondays. So I will put some questions to discuss uh, on Monday also. I think that's all for today's. Any question for these chapters? This chapter is quite easy, just a kind of revisions for you. If you are coming from uh, matriculation, STPM, and I guess polytechnic, because yesterday a few students have been submitted the uh, exemptions to take this course, but uh, the percentage of uh, the, the, the syllabus which, which is covers is not enough to, to, to get uh, exemptions, okay? Uh, let me see, let's see a few questions. So, Nor Hidaya, okay, Nor Hidaya, uh, about question three, should we explain more or just write in H? Yeah, 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 yeah. Let, let, let me see the questions, okay. Uh, yeah, you, you can, yeah, you have to explain more because they have two questions here. First, you have to level. Second, you have to explain. Labels, another max, explain, another box. Okay, Daya, okay. Uh, uh, do we have a lesson tomorrow? Yes, uh, yeah, we don't have uh, any class tomorrow because uh, it's they probably give a chance to our uh, Indian people, uh, Indian students, our friends, Indian friends to, 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 to celebrate it. Yeah, it seems like a uh, Chinese New Year also, so, uh, Ari Rayas and Christmas. Let's them celebrate with their family. Okay. Mm, are we need to some attendance tomorrow. Uh, yes. Uh, yes. Uh, no. <laughs> it's holiday. It's okay. Okay, Daniel. No need. Okay, oh, we should explain about the location. Yes, 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 yes. Can I know when the tutorial, tutorial class will be uh, next week? And I will pre I will prepare the tutorial number one uh, soon uh, in progress now. So so uh, next week is just uh, you have to meet your tutors and uh, to make sure everybody understand in the small groups. I'm strongly advised ask first your tutors and get uh, more explanation for them because it's just uh, twenty five student in one class compared this for today's session is one hundred seventy sixty seven student in one class. Okay. Uh, this question, how many marks? Uh, one compounds, two marks. Okay. One marks for labels, one marks for explanations. If they have two compounds here, so we have four marks. But this kind of question is quite easy. <laughs> okay. Okay. Any questions? No, uh, Dr. Yam will explain, uh, will give the list uh, uh, where exactly we put your name in the class, okay? Because uh, if the class is full, we have to choose the, we have to check the second choice of your time and date. Uh, if full or gain, so we have to looking for the third choice, okay? Inductive effect, what I can say, it's more to the uh, more electronegative compounds. If we see the exa an example between trifluoro, trifluoro ethanoic acids and also ethanoic uh, ethanols, the difference between uh, carbons and fluorine is too far in terms of electron densities because fluorine is uh, uh, electron rich uh, uh, elements. They are pool all the the electron cloud goes to them it's become a huge electron cloud that's why uh, we are prefer to uh, to explain in more inductive effect compared to resonance for 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 this kind of examples we are prefer to choose resonance effects because it's clearly stated there if if we remove the uh, electron pair there we can see this is a uh, resonance structures okay Okay, Khan. 
from Cindy. Okay, nice. Alistair, the question may give you answer on email. Oh, we will continue next, uh, next, uh, next lecture class, and I will add more questions. Okay. It's better to to do step by steps. I can do quite fast, but I I don't have. <laughs> I tak sampai hati lah, okay? Okay. Firza, uh, you can see uh, in recorded uh, lectures, I will I will trim it, uh, put some uh, animations, and we post in uh, my my YouTube channels. I'm YouTube right now. Okay. 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 I think that's all for today. Thank you very much. And uh, hopefully to see everybody's uh, in on Monday. Okay, uh, stay safe, stay healthy. And anybody who celebrate Deepa Bali, Deepa Bali Vertical to everybody uh, to who celebrates. And see you next. Uh, next week.